This project is uh, funded by uh, DairyCo as part of a research partnership between Harper Adams, uh, Nottingham University and uh, the Royal Vet College. Uh, in this part of the project we're specifically looking at managing high yielding cows at grass, so trying to maximise their intake of grass and looking at subsequent effects that that can have on performance, uh, aspects relating to their behaviour and welfare and also aspects relating to uh, their, their methane production as well. Methane production, as most people are aware, is something that contributes towards uh, global warming and dairy cows produce uh, a large amount of, of methane, approximately 8% of their energy intake is lost as methane on a daily basis. And we have been investigating a variety of factors and ways to reduce methane production from, uh, from dairy cows um, and we're focusing specifically on nutritional aspects. Uh, grass is particularly of interest because it is high in uh, soluble carbohydrates and polyunsaturated fatty acids. And uh, there is some limited evidence to suggest that these in grass may decrease methane production. So we want to follow this up and look at uh, what the methane production is of cows that are inside. So we've got one group that's housed inside. We've got uh, some of these cows that you can see behind me here. I've got access to the total mix ration that they have inside, but whilst they are grazing. And the third group have got uh, just access to grazing during uh, the, the daytime. So the backpacks on them here allow us to, to measure the, the methane production so that we can compare the difference between cows that are housed inside versus those that are outside with access to TMR and those that are outside uh, but without access to TMR. We've also got another two groups of cows as well who are outside during the night time. These are outside during the daytime and they've got the same treatments. Half of those have got access to the TMR and the other half haven't as well because the, the interest in that is that we know that the composition of the grass changes during the day and we know that the soluble carbohydrate level for example increases in the afternoon so our feeling is that perhaps the cows in the, in the evening group uh, firstly may eat more grass, that's one aspect and secondly because of the changes in composition that may affect methane production as well. There's a lot of uh, controversy currently regarding whether cows should be housed or whether they, they, they should be grazing uh, and our um, uh, objective is to look at how high yielding cows can also have uh, grass as part of the diet and high yielding cows are particularly um, 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 of interest because they can't get all of their nutrients from grass alone so they need some form of supplementation so the, uh, the temptation is just to house them uh, continuously but grass is the, the cheapest form of forage that dairy farmers have available is a highly nutritious form uh, and there are also other aspects in relation to the welfare and, and methane production as well so what we're trying to do is look at strategies to see where we can include grass in the diet of high yielding cows so that dairy farmers can therefore uh, reduce their feed costs and also from a, a carbon point of view if we can find some evidence relating to methane production, then that would also be of interest in, in the future. Another important aspect of this study is looking at the at cow welfare. Uh, it really builds on our previous studies where we've been giving a cows a choice of either being inside or outside, and those studies have actually shown that cows seem to be more motivated, they're keener to go out at night than during the day, and again these are with high yielding cows. Uh, so what we're trying to understand here is uh, for the farmer it's quite difficult for them to give the cows a choice between the two. So one option the farmer can actually do is to put the cows out for part of the day and obviously being dairy cows normally milk twice a day they can either be out during the day or during the night. Because uh, previous studies have also shown not work at Harper but other studies have shown that actually cows that are out at pasture have got much lower levels of lameness, uh, lower levels of mastitis so there's certainly health benefits to being at pasture. But what we're trying to understand in this study is just really looking at the cow's behaviour, the proportion of time they're sort of lying and standing, and whether those cows that are out during the day uh, look at sort of their behaviour patterns, compare with those with the cows that are in during the day, uh, but also have the cows out at night. Uh, and we're really trying to understand, really from the cow's point of view, you know, what's a good way of actually hopefully improving their welfare by allowing them really to exhibit their sort of normal behaviour out at pasture.